I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. The workouts come in all levels, and you can see the level on the app. You can also see what equipment you're going to need. The workouts are really inexhaustible. They're also filmed in beautiful locations like this. And did I mention it's free? That's the best part. Go to the App Store or Google Play today and check it out. Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm here today to do a beginner strength training video for you guys. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out our legs, kind of do a full body workout. Um, we're gonna use dumbbells, a mat. Uh, you can obviously just lay on the carpet or on your floor, whatever you feel comfortable with, you can do. What I want you to do is do a three to four minute warm up just to kind of warm up your body and your muscles. You could do some jumping jacks, you could do some you know, burpees, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Um, so let's get our weights and get started. Our first movement today is a curtsy squat. You want to do 20 reps of this. What you do is you hold your weights in your hand down low. Whatever weight you feel is comfortable. You also want to make sure that you are stepping across far enough over that you're getting that really deep lunge and really deep squat. It's going to work your, your buns. Get them ready for the summer which is what I love to do too. <laughs> it's my favorite movements. Anything that, that you know makes your butt look good, I'm all for. You should be able to start feeling a little burn in your, in your glutes at this point. Make sure you keep your form good. Chest up, breathe, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Our next movement is the deadlift. What you do here is keep your feet parallel to your shoulders and you just want to bend forward all the way to the ground and back up. We're gonna do this 15 times. You're really gonna feel this in your hamstrings. So make sure you try to keep really good form. You wanna bend over to a 90 degree angle and come straight up. You'll feel this all in the back of your leg. Make sure when you're doing this that you tighten your bum. You want to make sure that you know, you're getting that glute activation as well. This is a really good one for your hamstrings. The slower the movement, the better. Even though you might feel like you're going a little too slow, it's always really good. Keep that tummy tight and tucked in. You should really be able to feel it at this point. Okay, our next movement is going to be calf raises. What you wanna do is get in your squat position, hold your weights in between your legs. You can either alternate each one leg at a time, or you can do them both at the same time, whatever is at your level of fitness. You're gonna do 15 reps. I'm gonna do one at a time. So if you're doing that, what I'd like you to do is do 30 reps which is gonna be the same as if you were to do 15 with both. Now, with everything we're doing today, definitely keep your, your core tight. You wanna keep everything you know, nice upright, keep your shoulders back, keep perfect form. Perfect form leads to great movements. It's gonna to lead to an amazing body, which is what we're all here for anyways. You should really be starting to feel this in your quads. It's a really, it's a good movement for that. So all we're doing, you know, today, right at this point, is working out that butt and making those legs look perfect. Now, put your weights down for a second. I want you to get down on to the mat. And what we're gonna do is do full sit-ups, okay? So what you do is lay straight down on your back, feet parallel to the ground. You're gonna reach your hands above your head and just reach all the way forward and come back. We're gonna do 20 reps of this. Make sure you're breathing at all times. We have 15 more to go here. 
Now, if you wanna make this move a little more advanced, if you think that you know the normal sit-up just isn't at your level of fitness, what you wanna do is just grab your weight, hold it above your head, and when you come forward, you can actually reach up, or when you come forward, you can just reach to your toes. Either way is fine. Whichever you feel you like more, because they're both gonna give you a really good tummy workout. Yeah, you should feel the burn at this point. Really engaging those abs. <laughs> Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn over onto our stomachs. Well, not really onto our stomachs, so we're gonna be doing push-ups. And we're gonna do 10 push-ups. So, hands are gonna go right above, stacked above your shoulders. You wanna put your feet in a plank position, and you want to just go down and up. Chest hits the, hits the mat. So you can do, if you're really good at push-ups, this is a good way you can do it, or you can get down to your knees if you want a, a slight modified version of them and just come straight down and push yourself up. Now, while doing this movement, it's really good to keep your elbows into your body. That's the proper way to do a push-up. So make sure you're not kind of sticking those arms out like that. You'll definitely be able to feel the burn. Now, next movement we're going to do is a row in the plank position. So you wanna grab your weights again, kind of move them right where you were, stack right underneath your shoulders, just like we were doing with our push-ups, and you want to just pull the weight to your chest. We're gonna do one on each side, a total of 20. Now, some things to keep in mind while doing these, keep your hips parallel to the ground, and try not to shift your weight too much. Keep your core engaged, keep it nice and tight, and keep your arms pulled straight to your chest. This one is not only gonna work your, your arms, but it's also gonna work your core, so it's really good. We're done with those for now. Our next movement is going to be a skull crusher. So you wanna get on the ground. You want to grab your weight, one weight. Bend your arms and you're just going to reach for the sky. So you wanna bend your arms back at a 40 degree angle, all the way back up. This will be a really, really good movement for, for your arms. It's just, you'll feel the burn immediately, like I do right now. You're going to want to do 15 reps of this. Make sure you, you're breathing at all times. Keep that core tight. Make sure you put those arms at the 40 degree angle. We're gonna do our last three movements, and then we're gonna transition now into what we call a hammer curl. So what you wanna do is you want to get into your squat position, okay? So low in that squat deep, and you just want to curl the weights up. We're going to do 20 total of these. This is actually gonna be a really big burn for your legs, so you are getting a double whammy on this one. Keep your core tight, activate those glutes, and just curl right up. You know, when doing this, you definitely wanna keep the weight low so you can keep it consistent throughout the entire workout. You know, so you might feel it might be light and you wanna go heavier, but I would just stay right where you're at so that you can make it all the way to the end. Feel that burn. Okay, perfect. Now, our next movement, we're gonna work out that butt again. So you wanna put down your weights, gonna get back onto your hands, but you're gonna put, keep, your, keep yourself on your knees, so don't go into that plank position. Put your right leg up, and you're just going to kick to the sky, okay? We're going to do 10 on each side. This is a really, really good one for that butt. So we wanna lift and raise straight to the sky. You can alternate legs if you'd want to, it's kind of a pain, so I would just do 10 on each leg, and then 10 on the other. You should feel that burn right in that glute. 
Okay, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back down on our backs and we're gonna do bridges. So you want to press your pelvic bone to the sky and back down. We wanna do 15 of these total. Place your hands on the side of your body, core tight, and when you get to the top of that bridge, make sure that you squeeze those glutes. That's how you're gonna get the most of this movement. Squeeze. And squeeze. Ooh, we can really feel that burn. Can't you? Okay, next movement. Now, this one's a little intense. What we're gonna do is we're going to do some jumping squats. So, just like we were before, you wanna get deep into that squat, all the way down, all the way up. So you wanna go down and jump, and jump. Now, I would do 20 of these. I think it's a sufficient number. If you don't feel, if you feel any time you're getting, you know, weak or you can't really do anymore, just do regular squats. You don't have to jump. But jumping is definitely for someone that, you know, might be a little more advanced. Either way, they, they work. You're gonna feel it and you're gonna see it, which is the best part of working out. It's like I said. Now, you should be feeling your butt be nice and tight. You should be feeling your core engaged. So we're gonna get back down and we're going to grab your weight. You can grab one, two, whatever you feel comfortable with. You're going to lean back and we're going to do Russian twists, okay? So you wanna lean back, feet in the air, and just tap your weight to each side of your body, okay? You're gonna do 15 total of these. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna, you're gonna feel this in your tummy. Your core is definitely gonna, gonna be happy tomorrow when you got that six pack abs. And 10. Woo, good job. Now, what I want you to do at the end of your workout is take two to three minutes to really get a good stretch in, okay? So reach up to the sky, really stretch out that tummy, bend over forward, stretch out those hamstrings. You can hold this for about 30 seconds, kind of move back and forth so you can feel the engagement in your, in your um, hamstrings. Reach back up. Deep breaths this entire time. Also, another good stretch you can do on each side of your legs. This will work out the inside of your legs, or not work out, this will stretch it out. Um, and the back of your hamstrings. Stretch out both sides. All these movements I would hold for, you know, 20 to 30 seconds, whenever you really start to feel it loosen up, because it will be a little tight from what we just did. You can also grab your foot and stretch out that quad. If you're, if you're a little off balance, you know, just hold on to a wall, whatever you feel. Grab the other side, Let's do the left leg, reach up high. Yes, that feels so good. Who doesn't love to stretch after a workout? So what I want you to do is take one big breath, reach up to the sky, and breathe out. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the workout.